Dude, do you want to hear the macabre truth about, like, if they ever did, like, a movie? <laughs> Remember Anvil and shit? That's what they need to do about us. Fucking, uh, dude, like, when I first met Danny and Mick, I was auditioning people for my band. This is before they were in Curvettes. This is this is what the Curvettes don't know, and this is what the Erotics don't know. Or, um, the Erotics don't know, and nobody knows, is that I knew them way long before I would I had just recorded this band Fat Mookin who my father knew because he used to deliver mail to them <laughs> that's how I met Adam and them guys and George Stullies and the fucking amazing band too I was in that band but um yeah so we're talking about like John Pop like bef- like right before John 1993 92 down here recording them on Van Branken and uh Back in 94, dude, they were dressed like, like, like enough's enough, or like, or like, I don't know, they were into like, really, they were into glam, so you'd see them walking down the King's Road with like stretch pants, like nylon, um, <laughs> um, like, um, you know, sparkly lame, not lame, but like, um, spandex. They'd be like walking down the street in spandex with big, big black hair that was teased up like this. They'd look like Enough's Enough or like Dangerous Toys or something. And they'd have like a girl's blouse on with shoulder pads and they would wear makeup. I'm dead ass serious. Danny and Mick, that's what they looked like. And we, and they also used to pal around with DJ, who was now my drummer, DJ Sins, who is now my drum, my, my second drummer in The Miserables. And I kept telling him, I'm like, and he used to play these big red Tommy Lee sticks that would leave red marks all over my drums. And I'd be like, dude, don't play Tommy Lee. That's why I hate Tommy Lee. I'm like, dude, don't play Tommy Lee sticks on my drum kit anymore. And he would be all concerned with spinning the sticks and shit. And I'll be like, just get to tempo right. But I go way the fuck back. I had just gotten into Green Day before they became popular in like 93 or 92, I was getting their singles from this guy, Doug, on the West Coast, who was sending them back to me on cassettes. And I was just getting into Bad Religion. I thought I knew everything. I was like, oh, this is the greatest bands in the world. And then they became popular. And then I had to find a new sound. But yeah, dude, they thought they were Motley Crue. They thought they were just, I just, and I remember, I remember DJ doing that shit right into the, because he became the drummer for the Erotics. And uh, I remember him sitting in the Cacophone Records fucking minivan with his legs crossed all like a girl and shit, smoking light 100 cigarettes, reading a book about Mick Jagger. (laughs) I don't think they liked me too much, but they used to, and they used to get beat up a lot for looking like girls. And they were really tall. And they wore these creepers that would make them even taller. So you'd see them walking down like in a snowstorm, looking like Chewbacca with with nylon stretch pants on, walking down the King's Road. And me and Ted be like with our Scottish beer, like drinking and driving like, oh, my God, there's Mick. Then we'd see him walking down the street, (laughs) like 10 foot tall, his hair all blowing. Fly high, Michelle. That's the shit I used to do when we used to drive by him. And shit. But, it, you know, the erotics had to, like, uh, soften the edge on them and gave them a, a better way to wear leather pants and shit like that. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. It's true. It was a long time ago.